Chemistry Maths and in this session I am going to solve question number 7 of NCRT Trigonometry Exercise 3.1. So let's begin. The question says find the angle in radian through which a pendulum swings if its length is 75 cm and the tip describes an arc of length first 10 cm second 15 cm and third 21 cm. So let's begin to solve this question. Before solving these parts of the question, I want you to understand what the question is trying to say. Now, there is a pendulum. Suppose the tip of the, this is a pendulum and the point of suspension of this point pendulum is C. And the tip is A. Now, the pendulum is swinging. That is, what is a swing of a pendulum? A swing is a to and fro motion. Right. It is a to and fro motion. What does that mean? That means that if the initial position of the pendulum is this A, the pendulum moves, suppose, to A dash. It comes back to its initial position, right? And then it traverses this path. From here, it moves to, suppose, A double dash. And then again, it comes back to its original position. So, this complete motion of the pendulum is called the to and fro motion. So, the pendulum is swinging. Now, the length of the pendulum is given as 75 cm, right? I can say this as 75 cm. So, this will also be 75 cm. Since if the pendulum is swinging, no matter, the length will remain the same. Right? Now, we have to find the angle. What angle through which a pendulum swings? That is, we have to find this angle. Right? We have to find this angle. Suppose this angle is theta. Okay, suppose this angle is theta. We have to find this angle. How we will solve it? Now, if you uh, notice, if I complete this figure, it will be something like this. Right? So, right? If I complete this figure, it will be like this. It will form a circle. Now, if you notice, this is a circle, right, with an arc of between A da double dash, this is A double dash and A dash, with an arc of and a center C, right, and we have to find this theta, right, if you notice. And suppose this arc length is L, right, this is your radius, right. So, in this, if you compare these two figures, what you will conclude is that this R is 75 centimeter, right? You have to find the value of theta. You have to find the value of theta, R B 75 centimeter. Now, also in all these parts, you have been given the value of L, right? You have to be given the value of L, right? You have to find the value of theta. Now, we have a formula to find the value of theta. That is the angle subtended by an arc at the center is e that is theta is equal to length of the arc divided by radius of the arc and this value is in radians. This is a formula. By this formula I can find my answer to all these three parts. How we do it? So in the first part L value is given as 10 centimeter. Now, by the formula that is theta equal to L by R, you can say that L is 
10 R is 75. It gets cancelled by how much? 5, 5, 2 ja 10, 5, 1 ja 5, 2 carry, 5, 5 ja 25, 5, 5 ja 25. So, it comes out to be 2 by 15 radian. So, this is your answer for first part that is n equal to 10 centimeter theta will be 2 by 15 radian. Now, the second part is when the length of the arc is 15 centimeter that is L is 15 centimeter. So, your theta will be L by R that is theta is L, L is 15 and radius is 75, 15 1 ja 15 5 ja 75. So, 1 by 5 radian is your answer for second part. That is L, when L is 15 cm, theta will be 1 by 5 radians. Now the third is when L value is 21 cm. So theta will be L by R. That is L is 21 and R is 75. Now it gets cancelled by 3. 3 7 ja 21. 3 2 ja 6 carry 1. 3 5 ja 15. So it comes out to be 7 by 25 radians. So when L is 21 centimeter, your theta is 7 by 25 radians. So we have easily solved all the three parts of question number 7. If you have any query in this question or if you have any problem related to mathematics, you can call or WhatsApp us in the given numbers. Additionally, please subscribe to our YouTube channel True Maths. Thank you.